Hey everybody, Steve Kornacki here, and it's getting to be a very exciting time on The Voice because the lives are coming. So remember, the season started. 76 artists went through the blind auditions, but now there are only four left on each team. You can see them all here. Let's take a look at some of the coaches here. Camila, she has impressed everybody in her first season uh, as a coach. John, the veteran, back for his seventh season. He's ready to bring home another win for Team Legend if he can. And then this was an interesting storyline. This year, a fun one, I think. Blake and Gwen, it was their first season as a married couple, and they're not afraid to fight each other. Oh, you got a good one, jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. All right, so let's break down the teams here, and let's start with Team Blake Shelton. He's won this thing, Blake Shelton, has eight times already. Let's talk about that team and break it down a little bit. First, there is Bodie. He might seem a little bit out of place here because he isn't a country artist. You have what it takes to make it to the finale of The Voice. You just got to pick the right coach that can get you there, dude. I've been doing this a long time, man. Bodie's on the team. So is Bryce Leatherwood. His pure country style, mastery of his voice, gave him the win. He's part of the team, too, as is Braden Late. Braden was an instant fan favorite, charming, down-to-earth personality. In the blinds, Blake was the only coach to turn. Now I have super regret for not pressing my button, yes. but I'm so excited you're on the show. Blake, thank you for turning. Also on the team, Rowan Grace. Now, she started out on Team Gwen. Blake was the only coach who didn't turn for Rowan, but in the knockouts, Blake said she's been one of his favorites the entire season. And so he stole her, and now here she is on Team Blake. I'll take her. All right, now let's take a look at Team Camila. How many wins does she have in the past? Well, none, because this is her first season as a coach. So what is her pitch when she's recruiting artists? When I was younger, I auditioned for a singing competition show. I was actually on a singing competition show. I auditioned for a singing competition show. Do you want somebody that has actually been on a singing competition oh before? Oh my gosh. Let's start with Morgan Miles. Her blind audition was Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. That got a four chair turn. Maybe you remember that moment and Camila turned right away. She blocked Gwen. Camila promised to help Morgan carve out her unique lane in the music industry. Take a look at Devix, also part of team Camila here in the battles against another live performance finalist, Sasha Hurtado. Camila helped them feel more comfortable, confident on stage during his performance. Also part of team Camila is Eric Hoon on TikTok. He has over 2.5 million followers. Camila was the only coach to turn. He had a stage presence and I love the spunky creative energy that I have on my team. Kate Kalvac, Blake was her first choice. He brought her out a literal goat to remind her that he is still the goat of the voice. Camila and John were impressed though that they both tried to steal her in the knockout. Kate chose to go with Camila into the live performances. Camila. Camila Cabello. And that brings us to Team John Legend. Now in the past, he's already got one win, going for his second one here. And one thing that might help him, three of the four artists on Team Legend had four chair turns. We start with Omar Jose Cardona, one of the most powerful blind auditions you saw. John immediately saw in Omar potential to win the entire season. And then he set about convincing him to join Team Legend. John. Parajita Bastola, also part of the team, 17 years old, the youngest member on Team Legend, the blind audition, another four chair turn. Then there is Kim Cruz. Oh, yes, another four chair turn. Within seconds of Kim starting her performance, John had already turned around. And then the final member rounding things out for Team Legend, Sasha Hurtado. Sasha impressed the coaches so much that she was actually stolen twice. Now let's take a closer look at Team Gwen, Team Gwen Stefani. She is technically speaking a returning champion. It wasn't last season, but the last time she was on, she won. Who's part of this team right now? How about Kike in the blind auditions? Kike performed Sean Kingston's Beautiful Girls. He put his own spin on the song. Uh, Gwen certainly liked it. So did Blake. They both turned, and Gwen immediately challenged Blake. I'm here to win. You're going down, Shelton. Gwen Stefani. 
besides Kike, there's Alyssa Watrato in the knockout. She performed Queens Don't Stop Me Now. She wanted to have her own Freddie Mercury moment. I would say she delivered, so she's on the team too, as is Justin Aaron, who you're looking at right here. In the blind audition, he took a big chance. He chose to perform John Legend and Common's Glory, and Gwen was the only one who actually turned. And then also on Team Gwen, there is Kevin Hawkins, and he got a four-chair turn during the blind auditions. He chose Blake as his coach. Gwen was the first to turn for Kevin, and she wanted him so badly, she actually blocked John. But then in the knockouts, he joined Team Gwen. So a late addition here to round out. Team Gwen. You were the first one to turn around for me, so I'm going with you. Oh. Gwen Stefani steals Kevin Hawkins. Live performances. They're going to start Monday, November 14th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Central, and they're going to continue every Monday and Tuesday on NBC and Peacock.